Hello, it's Saturday, July 29th of 2023, and today I'm here at Dippon Station to ride the longest tram line in the world, the Belgian Gustrom. The Gustrom runs along almost the entirety of the Belgian North Sea coast, from Dippon to Knokke, taking approximately two and a half hours end to end. The line is 67 kilometers long, consisting of 67 stops, making the average distance between stops exactly one kilometer, which is pretty neat. The tram runs every 10 minutes in the summer, but only every 20 in the winter, due to way fewer beachgoers in the off-season. So here's the main station building of Dippon Station, and you can see the trains back here. And the tram has a nice connection from right here. You can just kind of walk across. Or you can walk under and across using these underpasses. Dippon Station has a hourly service to and from Brussels, and in the summers, in the mornings and evenings, it runs another extra service in between the hourly services to increase capacity on the line. Correction, in the winter, direct trains to Brussels don't even run, except for a few in the morning, but for the rest of the day, there are none. It's a pretty simple station. It has the station building here. It has three tracks and two platforms, uh, one single track on this side and then two tracks on that side, and some seating and bike racks as well. There's also this level crossing here for cars and bikes as well, because we're in Flanders. So here's what the inside of the station building looks like. And we also have this heavenly hum from the vending machines. An interesting thing about Dippon is that it's not actually located in Dippon. It's located in Odenkerke, which is about 45 minute walk away from the actual city. And it's connected there by the Kustom. So you could just take the Kustom to get to the real downtown of Dippon. The station is also located next to this theme park called Flop Salons, which you can maybe see here. And you can even hear the screams of people on the roller coaster rides. Well, no more dilly-dallying. I guess let's board the tram. The trams here seem to kind of stack, so there's one that's going to leave in a few minutes, and then there's one right behind it, which is waiting. The first tram I saw was a sort of older model, but this one's very new. It's all low floor, which is nice, and there should be more of these in the US. It also seems longer than the ones in Brussels, and I think these may be the trams that they use in Antwerp. There's a map of the route, and it's very long. I've never seen a map this wide. I like how all the cities are labeled up here as well. I also like how there are multiple stations called Bot and Stot. <laughs> it's the tram wash, or the bus wash, I guess. Not the tram wash, there's no tracks. Here you can really see how the tracks are slightly narrower than standard gauge. They are meter gauge. Look at this amazing bike lane here. Oh, you don't see it? It's that little stretch of brick. The streets in this area are very nice. You can start to see glimpses of the beach. Here's the higher speed portion. I think the max speed is like 70 kilometers an hour. This is a better bike lane. I feel like all the little towns on the coast look the same. Like this main street looks just like the previous one that we were on. We're gonna get out at the next stop to grab a bite to eat and then continue afterward. This is a really nice estate area. So this is the first stop of the Newport beach area, and it's really nice. Like, this is a really nice beach, you'll see. Here's one of the back streets here with these really nice modern homes. This is all very new. So this old castle sort of thing here, it's not a castle, is it, is it a church? I think it maybe just a church. Yeah, it is a church. I don't know why I thought it was a castle. <laughs> There's a nice pedestrianized bit here next to the church, and over there is the beach. We have this cobblestone street here, parallel to the boardwalk, which is just down there. And here's the boardwalk. Well, it's not really a boardwalk, like an American-style boardwalk with, like, wood and stuff. But it is in front of the beach. We have these nice apartments here, these sort of dunes to protect from high tide. And then the ocean, the North Sea, with a lot of sailboats in it. I've never seen this many sailboats in a single body of water before. 
Okay, so like 10 minutes ago, it was super sunny, and now it's like the cloudiest day ever, and it's raining. I feel like these power lines look so elaborate for just being tram posts. I don't know, it's a little strange. Anyway, the street here is very interesting. We have parking spots, bike lane, single car lane, then a median, double tram tracks, and then a sidewalk on the other side, which is not continuous because back there, there is no sidewalk, but I think that's because of the construction. So now we're actually walking one stop forward to Bot Stop, Newport Bot. Right on time. Look how nice that QR code is. Here's Newport. I like how the barriers follow the direction of travel. So the barriers, these like metal things on this side are facing that way, the arrows, and on the other side, they face the other way. I've also realized that even if these trams are modern, they're still unidirectional. So they require a loop to turn around. Unidirectional just means that the trams can just move in one direction because they only have doors on one side and a driver's cab on only one side as well. At least that means we get that nice back window. Look, it's the crocodile stop. I feel like we couldn't be much closer to the beach. This is a really nice view. Even when it's cloudy, it's nice. And away from the beach we go, very slowly. <laughs> More apartment blocks. At least the densities here, better than in the US where it's just houses and small low rises and more houses. Entering Ostende. This is a sharp curve. Here's the start of the pedestrianized downtown zone. Such a nice tram line here. It's a big ship. Here is the train station and bus terminal. So here at Ostende, the train waits for a few minutes and I think the driver changes because there's no driver in there now. Uh, and then they can use this little board to see when they have to leave, which is really cool. Also, I didn't even notice this cool advertisement of Calais, Calais Beach. I'm gonna check out the train station and downtown now. This is interesting. So this tram is going to Vestende Bots, which is not Dupont. It's about halfway from here to Dupont. So I guess they're short turning certain trams to provide more frequency on the busy sections of the line. And there it goes. And similar to Dipon Station, but bigger, here are the tram tracks, and then right here are the trains. So this station, oh, Dipon was also a terminus station, but this station's more of a proper terminus, with the station building at the end of the tracks, like Termini in London, or like Waterloo, for example. Here's the bike parking, down here, and here are the tracks. Interestingly, the station building doesn't really align with the tracks. Like, it's there, so you would think the tracks would be behind it, but they're not. They're, like, next to it, which is very strange. I also really like the covering at this station. It feels very retrofitted, like, like the station's all made out of stone and the platforms as well, which are all older, and then there's this nice, like, metal and glass or plastic roof. There's also a port here. And wooden platforms, that's really cool. I like wooden platforms. This is a really good station, I really like it. I wonder if we're at the beach. Hmm. There it goes, bye. Here's the inside of the station building. Simple, but really nice. Here's the bus station. And here's the departure board for the bus station. So many bus bays. Okay, this one's definitely a church. No confusion on that one. The streets here in the center of Ostend are really nice because they follow all the standards of modern traffic calming measures, or I guess not modern, but just traffic calming measures. The stones are cobblestone, they have trees near the roads, there's planters, the road isn't straight so cars have to weave around, the roads are narrow, the parking spots are out of the way, like it's really nice. It also makes it so all the houses are accessible by car if you need to get there, but the city isn't infested with cars and it's pretty quiet usually, other than the seagulls and the occasional motorcycle. Look at this strange protected facade with these steel beams, but there's nothing behind it. 
here's a map of all the things you can do in the city, which is quite a lot. Like, it's a nice city, probably very historic for reasons I don't even know. The whole Belgian coastal region is way better than I expected. There's so much to do in this area. Like, I feel like it would take you several days or weeks to do it all. Well, this is interesting. This boat here seems like it just takes you from here uh, to, to there, which is um, not a very long journey. It's probably free though, but there is just a bridge like a few blocks that way, so I don't it's like that's how you get to the station, so I don't I don't really get it. Okay, I guess just the driver was transported across to that other boat, and then the rest of the people are going out to sea, which makes more sense. Okay, now back to the tram, but first a waffle. Mmm, waffle. From this place. Which is everywhere by the way, it's a big chain. So this tram is not all low level, and the middle section has stairs over here, which is more like American trams, which is not good. But this is an older model, and it seems like they are replacing them with new ones. This is a very interesting little siding. Oh, that seems like a loop track here. And then it returns here. That's a loop fellow cameraman and picture taker. That's a nice windmill. The station's called windmill, or just mill. Well, this is a very curvy piece of track. <laughs> this is wet down, and it's kind of different from the other cities. It's kind of nice. It's also, whoops. What I was trying to say before the horn sounded is that the station was way more popular than I expected. Like, so many people got off and on. Well, this is the strangest overpass that I've ever seen. It's like made of wood. Huh. I think it's actually steel, but covered with wood. This is a really cool downtown area. It's very open. It's like a big central plaza with attractions. I think this is just a tram and bike road. I think. Even though there are cars coming this way, so I'm not sure. Because there are these do not enter signs. Here's the train station stop, but I can't see the train station. I looked on a map and it seemed like it was behind the tram. Somehow I missed it. It's a really beautiful city. I really like it. The streetscapes especially are pretty fantastic. Not perfect, but pretty good. Why are there so many trucks parked here? It's a little strange. Coming up next is Zeebrugge. And Zeebrugge has some really interesting bridges which the tram goes over. Here we're going over the mainline railway. So this bridge here is very interesting because it's a drawbridge where the tram rides on top. If you see that tram line going that way, if this drawbridge is open for any reason, the tram line can deviate to that secondary drawbridge over there where the boat will wait in the middle for, no, for both bridges not to be open at the same time and always let traffic and trams through. It's a really interesting system. And then the tram line comes back this way and rejoins the main track. There's another bridge similar to those coming up shortly. At first glance, Zeebrugge just seems like a way more boring place than the previous cities like Blankenberge. But I do not have any local knowledge, so do not trust me on those things. Seems like the drawbridge is opening and on this side we are making the detour. That's really cool. So this is the extended detour track that's only used when the main drawbridge is open, which it was. And now we get to go on to the secondary drawbridge, along with all the other cars that got deviated. It's a really cool system. And now we merge back with the other set of tracks. Right here, this is the town of Heist, which is basically the same as all the other previous towns. This is an interesting part of the town. It's like separated. It's really nice. I love these small semi-detached houses. Mostly attached. <laughs> I just realized, why are they called semi-detached? They could also be called semi-attached. But I guess detached is like fancier, so they use that term. I don't know. This here is Danberge, and the next stop after this is Knokke, the last stop. I also think the only two towns that only have one stop in them are Knokke with just the station stop 
and down Berha was just the church stop. Tram is very empty now. This feels like those trams in Japan. <laughs> And here we are. This loop turnaround here is also really cool. I like how it's built in to the environment. So in Gnoka, the tram stops here. And unlike previous places with trams and train stations, the train station is not right next to the tram. You have to walk about a block or two in this direction back there. This seems like a very nice place as well. The trains are right there, and there's some bike parking, and the trams are just down there. So not the best transfer, but not awful either. So that was the Belgian Kustram. I've finished here at Knoke, which the station sign is broken, so you can't even see it anyway. I think the tram is fantastic. It connects all of the cities on the coast, which is great for summer travel. And everybody who lives there, like it's pretty much one big metro area, a lot of those cities. It's really nice. This should exist in so many other coastal regions. Like I can imagine in the US, like, so many of the coasts like Delaware close to where I live that could have a tram going along it and it would connect all the different beaches and make it all one big thing. I feel like it would also stimulate a lot of economic growth in the smaller beaches that are just near to the big beaches but nobody goes there because there's no transit there. And yes I know that these things are hard to retrofit and the interurban here has been here for a long time but it's always nice to give suggestions and show how good things can be. <laughs> But with all that said, I really enjoyed the tram. I hope you enjoyed too, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh, found the real station building.